Not much to do around here, is there? The heat from the laptop warmed your lap. It felt nice. The door's gone. Up. Oh. Uh. What do you mean, or is there? Are you looking? What is the way out? Stab? Look at all of us. So, oh, we're back into it. Nothing dramatic happened. These are all of our memories together. They're a little sad now. Because I'm dead. I stabbed myself. But we should be happy that they happened at all. But we should be happy that they happened at all. Let's make some new memories together, okay? So that's me and Basil? I don't like that. Kind of sounds like a coffee pot, though. Makes me want coffee. You see a boy sleeping in his room. What's his name? Okay, I guess I'm gonna name him Sonny. The boy's name is Sonny? It's me! A wardrobe. An ordinary houseplant. Nothing special about it. Cardboard boxes are littered across the house. A table lamp. Hey, Sonny, it's Mommy. I'm still in the city setting things up for our new home. Did you finish packing yet? The new are going to be at our house in a few days, so I have left a list of things for you to do before they arrive. Also, sorry, Mommy messed up. I forgot to tell the electric company that we need a few extra days before we're ready to move, so the lights might cut out sometime tonight. Anyway, I know moving to a new place can be a little nerve-wracking right now, but I think a change of scenery will be positive for both of us. I know you haven't talked to anyone in a while, but you might want to say goodbye to your old friends before we leave. Kel has been trying really hard to get a hold of you ever since we put our house up for sale. He's been calling us every week for the past few months. He seems a little lonely. Maybe you should pay him a visit. That's Okay, that's it for now. Mommy loves you. Bye, honey. Bzzz. 
You're hungry. An old computer. A bunch of books. What are you? Mom's to-do list. You don't feel like doing your chores right now. Some family photos. A small fake house plant. A bathtub. Hey, Sunny. This is a note from Mommy. Remember to brush your teeth every day. Love you. Hugs and kisses. Some towel and toiletries. Toilet. This game's weird. One of two old grandfather clocks. They stopped working a long time ago, but Mom likes to keep them around. Is this my mom's room? The bookcase has been cleared out. An empty picnic basket. Okay, now I'm in color. Some family photos. Mom's bed. The mattress is too, too hard for you to sleep comfortably. A table lamp. Are you sure you want to go downstairs? Yes. Why would you ask me that? That's a weird question. No? Okay, so I don't want to go downstairs? I don't want to look down. You feel dizzy. Maybe you can sleep it off. Okay. Sure. I guess I'll just go to bed. Doesn't really sound like my stomach, but okay. Why is this? this the door is locked. Cardboard boxes are littered all through the house. An eerie red glow radiates from outside. You feel strangely drawn to it. That's longer than it was. I'm dreaming. Right? Oh, this makes it go down slowly. You're... Yeah, no... I don't care if I'm hungry. Those are hands. You're... No. Uh-uh. I don't care if I'm hungry. Let me go back to bed. Hey... I really don't think I need to stab myself again. I I can't do anything. I'm oh, my controller died. No, oh, that explains it. Whoops. Uh, oh, where's the plug in? Ah, oh, dang it. Oh, it's like I, I thought the game was like 
going into autopilot mode or something. Playing out a story event. But nope, my controller was just... Do... Do I need to... Okay, so I don't... I don't stab myself again. That's... That's a really realistic looking hand for a pixel game. I... I can't... I, Something. Ah, uh, this must be one of those unwinnable fights. Sunny? Obviously, I haven't... I haven't done any damage to it. Take a deep breath. Don't be afraid. It's not as scary as you think. You steady yourself and remember how to calm down. So it just disappears? Steak knife? You look in the fridge and find cold steak. Yes, I'll take it. I got cold steak. I should probably heat it up before you eat it. It's, it's, it's food. You can eat steak cold. I got microwave steak. Ah, yes, a lovely, well done steak. Would you like to eat some? Yes. I don't know why it let me say no. Came down here for food and fought a spooky. Mon darkness monster. Monster of darkness. Of course I'm going to eat a steak. That's what I came down here for. Yeah. <sighs> Oof. Your stomach didn't agree with that. The stairs weren't nearly as long. You threw up. <laughs> hey, Sonny, it's Mary. Ma Mari. I'm finally back home, but I forgot my keys. Could you open the door for me? Why would Mar Mari's not my sister? I'm not gonna open the door. Sonny, are you there? I'm I'm cold. That's not Mari. Is that is that a door? 
<sighs> All right, can I go in here? Nope. Uh, just back to bed then, I assume? That's what I thought. Uh, it's nice and quaint. I really like the art style. It's weird having a, such a, a cute art style for... Welcome to White Space. You've been living here for as long as you can remember. <laughs> Waiting for something to happen? Select the keys to fill in the blanks. Incorrect keys will be discarded to the right. Okay. Something fell nearby. So I'm doing hangman. Something fell. Where at? Wow. Found a map. Is that a... a sp hmm. Oh, it's, it's late. I'm tired. Is that a spider on the... Moon? Headspace? <laughs> Waiting for something to happen? Uh, I assume I can go through the door now that I have that book. Is it restarting? Well, no, the watermelon's still broken. Amori, thank goodness you're here. Have you seen Basil? We can't find him anywhere. We should go tell Mary that you're okay. She's been worried sick. Uh, toast. Uh... Going out, Amori? Here's your allowance for today. Two... 200 clams. Uh... Why does it look like it's bloody? Like bloody footprints. That's not good. I got the A. 11 keys left. Okay. Hmm. Amori, you're okay. I'm sorry for not letting you in when I was awake, asleep. I don't know what's real and what's not. Don't make me worry like that. Where's Basil? He's not with you, Amori? No, I'm afraid not. The last thing I remember was sorting out, sorting photos with Basil in his house. And the next thing I know, I'm waking up in neighbor's room with Audrey and Kel. Aubrey and Kel. At least we found you, Amori. But I hope Basil's okay. Who's going to protect him if we're not there? Don't be such a downer, Aubrey. We'll find Basil for sure. 
You're absolutely right, Kel. It's at times like this when you gotta stay positive. True. Hmm. Why don't we go back to Basil's house? There might be something that we missed. That's the spirit hero. And as always, I'll be here if you need me.